Now to breaking news. Four high school students arrested for arson after this massive fire at an abandoned train station in Delray Beach. Fire Rescue releasing some new information on how they tracked down the teenagers. We're told it started with a 911 call. Someone reported seeing smoke coming from the train station and described four young men running from the scene. While firefighters battled the flames, police started investigating. They tracked down surveillance video from a nearby business and showed that that showed the four teens running. Officers found all four of them at Atlantic Community High School where they attend school. Again, all this happening at the old Delray Beach Rail Station right along I-95 at Atlantic Avenue. You might well have seen smoke if you were anywhere in that area today around 11 this morning, particularly. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney has been on the scene all day, keeping a close eye on the fire and the condition of the firefighter hurt while battling the flames. Matt. Kelly, a lot of concern today for that injured firefighter and the Delray Beach Fire Department over its Twitter account announced this afternoon that injured firefighter had been released from the hospital is now home, suffering burns on his neck and ears after being knocked down by the flames. The smoke and flames from the fire were so intense, drivers along I-95 in Delray Beach could see it for miles. I was on, on Woolbright and I saw it smoke like a mile through. Rachel Pinter was on her way to work at Saltwater Brewery right across the tracks from the abandoned train station as it burned. It was just like a big pile of smoke. Like It looked like a bomb went off. Delray Beach and Palm Beach County firefighters tried attacking the fire from above with water as the flames raced through the roof and most of the wooded structure. One firefighter was taken to the hospital with a non-life-threatening injury. The danger very apparent as one of the small towers collapsed as gusty conditions seemed to make the fire worse. This was a pretty big fire, breezy conditions today, so it did, um, it did make the fire pretty big. So it took a while for them to fight it. The fire also shut down trains along the tracks for a couple of hours. These tri-rail riders heading to Deerfield Beach were forced to get off the train in Boynton Beach. There was buses there to take us to over here, but with my bikes and everything, I said, no, we're going to bike down here and get the train here. All right, all trains are now running. This old Delray train station was once called the gateway to the city. The 92-year-old building was abandoned back in 1995. South County reporter Miranda Christian continues our live team coverage. She's learning the city had plans to renovate this building, but it now may be in jeopardy. Miranda? And the Delray Beach Historical Society Preservation Society tells me that this is a big blow to the preservation community, and they're worried that this building might be lost. A building that stood for nearly a century was torn apart by a fire. Firefighters worked tirelessly to save Delray Beach's historic train depot. City leaders and the community looked on with sadness. You could see the, uh, the, the roof has absolutely caved in. Built in 1927, the Mediterranean style building took its place on the National Register of Historic Places. It was a part of the seaboard airline. Now many hope the building can be saved. And I yeah. hope we don't lose it. It's an old building that was fully involved when they got here. It's sad seeing the old structures go. Commissioner Adam Frankel says the city planned to spend $325,000 on renovations. The hopes were to revitalize it, repurpose it. But those plans are now on hold. Right now we'll have to hold our breath and see if anything can be salvaged. Now, there were some concerns that the city's Christmas decorations were being stored here, but I'm told they were not at this location. Most recently, the city public works department was keeping lawn maintenance equipment inside the building. Reporting live in Delray Beach, I'm Miranda Christian, WPTV News Channel 5.